Hey, Merry Christmas in advance. Christmas is coming and we're getting excited, getting prepped up, getting worked up for a great season of evangelism, a great season of, of partying and of celebrating the wonderful Savior, uh, the Lord Jesus. I have been thinking about how we could encourage our members during this Christmas. We often think about evangelism. We often think about how to reach the crowd, reach the, uh, the city for Christ. Absolutely. We often think about a wonderful worship service and the cry carols and the cakes. Wonderful. But Christmas is also a great time to appreciate family. And family begins with the body of Christ. Now what I'm trying to say is, could this be an opportunity for you and me to appreciate the people who so heart, heartfully and kind of tirelessly serve in our church? Uh, we call them volunteers, we call them lay ministers, we call them ministry team, we call them core team. Call them what you want, but these are people who should not be more tired at Christmas. They should feel rewarded at Christmas. Christmas time is a, is a season where perhaps the main service is kept for evangelism or it's kept for reaching out or it's kept for traditional purposes. But around that, instead of having events that are all involving people who don't take Christ that seriously, <coughs> they don't, don't, they're not so much involved in church through the year, they become the focus. If you understand what I'm trying to get at here, we do so much for them and then they come enjoy and they leave. But there needs to be a time when we do something for those who are serving, who are there, who are sacrificially present. You know, they, they, have, they love the church, they're involved. And, and I've been thinking of ways we could appreciate them. For instance, souvenirs, um, gifts, uh, medallions, uh, a, a, a present, a book to, to, to publicly recognize just service. You know, to publicly recognize that the love of Jesus has shown through them during that time or during the past year. So we could do like uh, an appreciation dinner. We could do, uh, you know, a, a gift section in our service or some part of our season where we stop and say, thank you. Thank you. You've been good. You've been faithful. You've been consecrated. You've, you've, you've given yourself to serve the church and you are a picture and you are a testimony of why Jesus came and we love you and we're so grateful. Think about that. Think about how we could do that this Christmas. How can we make our own people feel loved and appreciated and recognized and seen? El Roy, El Roy, E-L, that's God, El, Roy is a Hebrew word for the fact or for the truth that God sees. Um, God sees our pain. God sees our suffering. God sees our giving. God sees our consecration. He sees our sacrifice. And we have to represent a God who sees. And when we appreciate our, uh, our core team and our ministry team, our lay members who serve along with all their jobs and their responsibilities, we are reflecting a God who sees. We affirm them and we appreciate them. Let's do that this Christmas. It will change the whole spirit of your church and help you grow.